Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> I'll take the trade. I get eight damage. Eight plus eight. Get wrecked. Guaranteed lethal. Starfruit. <laughs> oh, it's hard. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the Beans on Heights deck. The reason we're calling that is because we're running this card, the Lily of the Valley. Something I'm really trying to bring back. This thing can get extreme value if you are playing team-ups in your deck because they can actually buff two minions. Uh, so it's really 4-4 four, four worth of value, which is so great. Um, so we are running Lily of the Valley with Beans. So the team-ups that we're running, I was going to run maybe Shellery. I'm running Admiral Navy Bean. Um, one cost three three. That'll be fine right there. Uh, and we're also running cosmic bean, and this can also give you another bean. So the key to using Lily of the Valley, as we've discovered, is not forcing this on turn two. That's the problem. It'll just get removed so easily by Bungie Plumber and beam me up and really lose a trade against uh you're die to a card which is cheaper um than it, or like in the case of beam me up, it'll just uh leave you know the opponent's minion on the board and yours not. Uh, so you just don't want to force it. If they commit something on turn two, you can play this safely. If not, you just got to wait and uh, play it on turns three or four. Uh, this can really, again, get a lot of value that way. Even on turn four, Lily the Valley, Admiral Navy Bean, and <laughs> Click B. It's just an amazing, amazing play. Uh, we are So so this is going to be the a mid-range deck. You can play it quickly. Uh, if you're against Super Brains and you have just a couple Admiral Navy Beans and some cheap beans, just spam them. The Black IP is a good way of getting tempo. If not, play patiently and go for it. A Lily of the Valley setup, and uh, if not, then you can play even more patiently uh, and go for the Onion Rings setup. So, uh, Onion Rings is going to make all of your beans into little 4-4s. Four uh, this will actually be a 5-5 five five since it grows after the fact, which is nice. Um, even your Lily itself will be a 4-4, four four, so you can play this pretty cheap, 2 cost 4-4, four four, and then play another guy on Heights, and that'll be a 6-6. Six six. So, definitely works with the Onion Rings. Both of these cards also work. Uh, with the finisher of this deck, which is shooting starfruit, playing this as a again as a five cost two two, it does a lot, but very easily removed. Four four, uh, less so, a lot less easy to remove. So you can play this once it's a four four. You can also set up your lily with a team up, let's say on turn four, and then play this uh, just straight up on on heights on turn five, which can again once this is doing four damage in five lanes. 20 damage, clearing your opponent's field. I mean, just insane value. Running a couple of plant foods just as a finisher. We have a lot of beans, so the, the jelly bean should get a lot of value. This will be able to cover, you know, even a cool bean that's already, you know, frozen some pirates and gotten a good trade. Definitely cover that. We have a lot of cheap beans. You also have the cosmic bean that's conjuring something anyway. It's just a 1 1, so uh, definitely able to get a lot of value out of the jelly bean. They play that cowboy on, on turn 4. You just bounce it off and get a 5 4 on the field. Good value. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into the games. Here we go. Heck yeah. If you think this deck will go at least 8 and 2 vote, yes. 7 and 3 or fewer vote now. Voting starts now. One thing I really would, would have loved to put in this deck is Vegetation Mutation. I ended up taking it out. Maybe I should put it back in. The decks are always subject to change, so always keep that in mind when you are um, when you're voting, guys. Voting here, of course, at the live streams. Here's K Troll. Um, it's so interesting with this bean hand. I think I'm gonna try to go as aggressive as possible against this uh, super brains. All right, this should be fine. That's a very fine starting hand indeed. Very treasure. I wonder if I take that out and actually play mid now. I just don't want him getting like a 5 cost legendary he can play on turn 3 when he plays the space time. I think what I'm gonna do is, well... I didn't actually think about turn 3 yet. It's usually just space time. The voting started, I feel like I forgot to do something. Everything's going fine. Here we go. We're in the games. <laughs> what did he just do? Oh, he played this on top of itself. Okay, then. I think we just go for it. Let's aggro this guy. <laughs> Of 
four damage, pretty hefty. He's rolled double threes so far, great. Well, we have a three. We're gonna play this here to play around uh, Transformation Station. Doesn't play around that, but it could even trade. No, we lose. Damn, this this jelly bean just got really sad too. Maybe I should have played around leap and us losing the tray. I mean, this is really high stats for a four quest card, so. Actually punishes the pogo. I'm guessing it's the leap station now, too. Yep. Well, I guess this will do five. The health on this doesn't matter that much, right? It's still some extra beanstalk in our deck. Or we don't need a lot of small cards because of the two star fruits we have. You know, a hard time dealing with it. It's a pretty good tactic, though. Yeah. Uh. Why are you guys saying 0-1? I'm winning. I'm killing here. <laughs> Why are you guys think I'm losing here? I mean, we're not dominating, dominating, but we're doing okay. I don't think this guy's gonna have a rocket science. I don't think he has it. Toxic waste would have been said there. Rawr, no one cares. Grandpa Shark do 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 Another jelly bean. Jelly bean. That's why I didn't want to play the star fruit. It's probably a pogo. The jelly bean also punishes it. He'll probably just jump, bounce the jelly bean, but it means he only has two. Ooh, no! He, he, what? Why would you give me that? I don't understand. Oh, because he has chop. Okay. We're still doing okay here. Ah, uh, but that means his chop is gone. This pogo is also gone. This will be more useful just as a defensive card. Okay, so we need to. You like these three now? Stonks. I'd love for him to pass and just we'll get so much value from pinging this here. Yeah. And... Good enough. I guess I should have played this first. Whew. 
More stonks. I'll definitely take it. Man. So right now, Starfruit just wins. Rocket science would be a little sad. I don't think he has it, though. He's running Pogo. He used his chop already. I don't think he has it. I think that's him conceding, unless he has... Oh, well, no, he's looking for a car. <laughs> that's why he's using that. He's literally looking for an answer. A miracle. It can get, like, frosty mustache. That's cool. Does he have a bonus effect? He doesn't have one. He doesn't. <laughs> that would have been pretty awesome, though. Alright, we went away. I don't know why people were like, oh, I guess we lost this game. I don't, I don't know at what point you guys were getting so, so... So pessimistic, guys. Cheer up. What are the predictions for today? What, it's 50-50? 51% yes. On an Onion Rings Beans deck with Starfruit. And, and I don't know, man. I don't know what happened here. That is a cool hand right there. We need some early game cards just to be able to deal with Z-Max aggression. Really would not like to see Teacher here. That's... If he plays a sumo, we just pass. <laughs> Come on, well, we're looking for a mascot on heights. Let's go. Come on, do it. <laughs> nope. Um, so how do we do this? Oh, I mean, the lily makes it a 4-4. Four, four. Probably save the lily here. And we'll just give him one of these. It's because Lily's in it, so that's why. Oh god. Uh, I'll take the car. We'll put the non-amphibious one on Hanks. Lily's a 3-3 three, three now. You're right. I can always big in this next turn if I want to. I don't really have to. I can just let it die. Um, that goes up to 9. Okay. Cool. Let's see if this man has a coach or what. Ho 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 ho, pretty good. So this will be a 5-4, it actually loses the trade here. How do we do this? Would have been nice to play Starfruit, that would have been cool. Probably just these two. I don't really see another play. Oh, you know what? Let's go face. That'll proc the block, do a lot of damage. Uh, 
That's a lot of damage too. So that'll get us get him down to eight. This is within starfruit range now. I mean, he has to just not lose in this lane now. Is there a clean way to win now? I mean, the most damage he can do is three. He can add health here to win. This does seven. Well, but he can't break through and go face. So screw it. Let's not go crazy here. Wait a second. Well, no, now we have to not, whoops. I don't know, that was probably the worst thing I could have done, because we die here. We need him not to get a lightning bolt now. And he did it to the wrong one. Thank you. I, I lucked out. I actually didn't calculate that right at all. We needed to block every lane or actually be able to answer it. Now we win. <laughs> okay. I really misplayed there, but we won. So. <laughs> Whoops. The play was, it was just so not guaranteed with that Admiral. Every bean we play, we don't know what the block meter was going to do. I don't know, man. I guess I just listened to my gut and I got lucky. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking that yo-yo is in big and bonus attack in one, then you play Lima. But what if, if the Lima gets blocked, then what do we do? I might as well just play, I mean... Then we lose, and we let, let's lose on the spot. But we didn't have enough minions to cover all the lanes anyway. Huh. <sighs> anyway. This is cool. We're not going to play fast against the Morticia anyway. With all her nibbles and stuff. Let's go. Yeah, well, maybe the the four four star fruit in lane two was probably the, the cleanest play. What was I worried about? I was worried about him adding health in lane three, and then he wins. Just a hearty treat would have won. There wasn't really a clean way, <laughs> clean way to do it there. Is this that much better if I wait till later to play it? I don't think so. I think we actually spam this here. Playing this as a 4-4, four, four, as a 3-3, three, three, but th basically three turns earlier. We're burning that sun anyway. I think this is right. The problem is we don't... Okay, you're right. We also would have had the same two shots at his face. So we actually would have won against Hardy Tree as long as the block was in the moment. Yeah, so Starfruit in beginning two would, would have been the play. We're talking about last game, of course. It's just there was that there was a lot <laughs> a lot going on on that board. This also, if he starts like shrink, you know, uh, extinction eventing, this will be the base for this one eventually. As opposed to these four fours, we're not gonna really gonna want to cover it with a jelly bean. I could have also saved that, so we'll have jelly bean combos on seven and eight exactly. But maybe, maybe you do save that. It's just costing some a lot of resources from the time. He had to deal two cards 
Here's another two cards. We can just play around that lane. We don't even need it. That is okay. This is the card that Control Morticia definitely does not want to see come out. <laughs> Pretty nuts. There's a rocket. You're gonna need a lot more of those, boy. Boy. We can also b bounce one minion for free, which against a control deck is usually just how it goes. So we have... This Black IP will actually be fine against that turn 6 pass, even if it's not buffed. So I think we play it. It's just 6. This is so cool. Wow, that's a really good top deck. Jeez, we'll play that next turn. I think I'm gonna do this in a different lane so he can't chump block us as well. With just summoning, and I don't know. His superpowers are all gonna be sad. Evaporate does nothing. Summoning gets punished and doesn't do anything. Or to use bats, and then it's just um, acid rain. Maybe this I should have played on heights because acid rain. I mean, that's a really good summoning, but it's against a 3 4, so I don't know. It's it's gonna be way more than three. Then he draws card. I mean, I just put you know how much how much stats there's put on the field. Essentially, sixteen attacks, seventeen health on the field right now, and he draws cards. That's what he's doing. He has no way to deal with this black IP. He didn't use his superpower, so I think he has evaporate, and he's just planning on evaporating this eventually. There's another teleport. This man is dead. This thing itself is gives 5-5 five, five worth of stats on this field, which is so cool. Two amphibious minions. Make it three. Make it three. Um, this is still turn seven, so he can't really teleport Zombot or anything. We should just play probably as many beans as possible. We don't really have... it's kind of a waste. I think it's just gonna be like this. And like this. It's going for some teleport zombot that'll maybe be in two turns. I mean, he, he has to first of all deal with both Admiral Navy Beans and not let me proc his block. Yeah, that weak stuff out of here, man. We jelly bean this teleportation zombie to he could play nurse nurse in one it still doesn't do enough because he'll heal back up to nine health and then we kill him in lane five he already used his bat that's smart but there's <laughs> a drop out of the ocean okay uh no, nope, that's still guaranteed lethal. Evaporate, acid rain, and doesn't do anything. Reno. Who knew that the, the only card that did not get buffed by the onion rings would end up being the biggest thing? <laughs> Heck yeah. I can't believe only 51% of you guys voted yes for this deck. K-Troll. I'm seeing this name too much, so I think this is someone who's sniping me. Pretty sure. Didn't we just play against this guy? This is just getting a little, little too familiar here. That's good. <laughs> no one cares. Should we play fast against HG? It's not that aggressive without the Admirals. I'm gonna say no. Oh, we fried him up alright. These guys go. Oh. Instant regrets. Regrets were made. Okay, that's it. I'm going aggro. I'm going to aggro as a mofo. What is he playing this dry for, though? I don't understand. Just don't get it. Oh, 
like he's drawing a lot with this. I don't know what he's doing. Imp Commander? Who cares, bro? We can end up doing 10 damage if we get our super. I'll, I'll just spam the super here. We're aggroing this guy. How about no, Scott? No cards for you. I just swallowed a whole bag of jello beans. Pretty damn good. The aggression is real. Come on, cowboy. Where are you? Where is ya? I guess we'll probably just spam the jelly beans here. Just because... <laughs> Toxic? Bro, you're, you're not allowed to... You ain't allowed to do that. That's illegal. Do we just go face? <sighs> Where's Lima when you need it? I could just bounce the Toxic Waste Imp. He draws two cards and I don't do any damage. I just don't know what I do next turn. We need a more permanent solution than bouncing the Toxic Waste Imp. I probably just deny him the card draw. And let this one die. It's not a terrible play. No, okay. More card draw. Oh dear. Uh, I might just star fruit in one for real. Give that man a bonus attack. These guys, for real, do run bonus attacks. Teleporting an imp and getting a bonus attack, though? Plus that thing, well... I think this is the play? If we onion rings... I mean, we're not dying this turn, maybe I should onion rings. Then we'll just have this. I think we'll go like this. We're probably not going to even end up playing Onion Rings here. It just makes the bonus attack hard. He needs to tell. He has the teleport. He needs exactly a one drop and a bonus attack now, which is less likely in this hand. If he just has a two or a three. Then we at least kill a Toxic Waste Imp. This will hit face. That's fine. That's a super. That's a super. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't draw a card either, so that's nice. This clears his field. So we're doing, unless he gets freeze environment, I guess guy also. He can prevent the five, but uh, we did proccing, proccing the block there was probably the most important <laughs> thing. And the last one, freeze environment, guy, and super. Which one would you not use there? I don't understand. That doesn't make sense. I don't get it. He either didn't have the bonus or didn't have a one drop. He just didn't have the bonus. <laughs> you can't teleport cowboy. An Admiral Navy Bean just wins on the spot. Vanillers. Vanilla light. So now all three minions are lethal. That's why we'll bounce this one. Also, less repercussions from the from the other thing. No amount of teleporting will save him here. We clear lane lane four. He needs to. Uh, no, it's, this man dead. I'm giving him too much credit. That. 
That okay? Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Is we getting ahead of? Why did he not freeze? He needed to freeze the star fruit. That's why. So it's a 50-50 if he survives here. Nope. <laughs> nope. Just no. Jelly bean carrying there. That was a hard game though, man. Protect the star fruit. I think spreading wider is always better than what a what a toxic play. <laughs> Got him. Got him with the drum roll. <laughs> Hell yeah. Brainstorm. We just have to be able to deal with like con man and stuff. I'll look for a little more control here. Definitely keeping you. Should I just never keep this though? I mean, it's nice to have this in the lake. I think I'm just never gonna keep it. Oh my gosh. Never mind. We're playing tempo. Screw this guy. <laughs> I'm a simple man. I see double click fee. I play aggro. <laughs> Not even that scared against turn one pass here, because it's just Bungie. If he's going for his superpowers, they're not great. I can also just play this on turn three. I kind of want to save this for the onion rings, though. We have to play this aggro, right? Should have gone on heights to play on Trapper territory, though. There's the bungee. Bungee. Lily. Um, he thinks we just punished this guy. Yep. I'll take the three bullseye. Let's go. More click bees, nice. Okay, we'll let this die. He can't deal damage to this. Am I crazy here? Yeah, should I take more damage? You know what? Let's start working on this face. I actually just want to remove this card. So. Mm -hmm, I'm crazy. That's a five five. About you. Get a team up, this is cool. Uh, Admiral Navy Beam would be decent here. I guess it's a turn for me, just conceive it. I guess he didn't like his Eureka, I don't know. He must have gotten a few soldier boys or something, I don't know what happened, man. Maybe he was sniping and he knew that he was gonna get click beat again. Having this is not terrible. Well, well it, it gives us some versatility how we play this here. The thing I am always terrified of seeing is just goddamn teacher. Hate teacher. We have no answer to teacher in this thing. Zero. <laughs> Zero. I mean, we can stall it on turn one. Again, this is not our situation. If he passes, we pass. But if he would play a two drop, I, I spam Lily there. The patient Lily. That's a good cry, Brent. That's probably the best thing you can do to get ahead. I'm actually playing from behind the rest of this match. You come up with these decks, or I would say in general, 
it's like someone will either give me an idea or I'll see a combo or sometimes I'm just playing around and I'll think of a combo. But then it's it's sort of like taking a combo and turning into a deck. Because we play defensively. Good defensive card against the Gravestone. Yes! Denied! Denying the card draw, killing it for free. Cool bean value. This really does, if we need to, Jelly Bean here, we'll do it. Don't think I won't do it. Is that will. I think we have enough things to just set up Lily here. So it's gonna be Lily... Blackie. Heck yeah. Another, he's ramping, but to what? It's nice he's for him, he's drawing another card here. I don't know, man. I don't even know if we have to onion anymore, we're so far ahead. I just want a team up so we can double up on the Lily here. I'm actually gonna do this for a card, since this is either the turn that we play onion, or do something better than onion. Rolling ones, that's nice. Here's the team up. Parasol. This looks fine. I think Onion is too slow, for real. <laughs> when Onion rings on turn 5, it's too slow. We just need to kill this guy. I watched her deep fry video on the meaning of life. I'm a Christian, so like I have my own little thing going on. But what you theorized it actually very possible because of like the state of the technology at the moment. Octopussy blesses. I feel blessed by Octopussy. Thank you, Pickle Plays. And uh, glad you liked the deep fry video. Hell yeah. <laughs> Tichua. Um, we just win. There's so many things we can do to BM him, but... <laughs> there. Flight BM before we win. Goodbye. Teacher came too late to the party, that's all I gotta say. Is that six or seven, guys? That is six. Damn, this deck. Honestly, the jelly beans are, are uh, for an onion rings deck. It's better than I thought. It's another whole op way to play, especially if you're going the fast route. All right, guys, we're up against Child Predator. I, why do I hear boss music? <laughs> Two, three, four, or something like that. Should I just get rid of the Admiral? I think since it's a team up, I think I keep it. Who makes your thumbnails? I make all the thumbnails. We're playing control now. Daddy Fry, oh Daddy Fry, oh Papa Fry, do you think Nightcap or Spido is better, Papa Fry, oh Papa Fry? I'm enjoying Spit Out more these days, but uh, I don't know. I haven't really played a lot of Nightcap lately. <laughs> if I even played Nightcats, it's March of 2022. Have I played any Nightcap decks this year? I gotta, gotta get back to the Nightcap. I kinda just go based on ideas, not based on. Your mom. I mean, he's probably going after this. Should I play Lily? Just a def is like is Lily defensive enough here? Meaning, if he removes this, he can't remove the Lily. He could be going for Infinity Clones. Meaning three, then I well. I don't know if I play Lily here. I think I do. Because at the end of the day, he needs a bungee. He can fruit cake this. We'll win that trade. So it has to be either bungee or an infinity clones he didn't play on turn one, which is very unlikely. It's basically only bungee. That's okay. He has double bungee. Okay, like that's, that's the thing, though. 
That's when we don't play Lily, is exactly if he has two bungees. Because the whole point was if he has the bungee, at least on this, at least we're making a defensive play. But anyway. Rose Cycle Heal. Uh, I've considered it. I don't know. <laughs> Give me a new idea for that deck and I'll bring it back. Have I considered it? I, I think we have to start playing a little faster here. That's a little bit weird. Chuck. Papa Fryo, Papa Fryo, Dada Fryo, Papa Fryo, Daddy Cry. Have you ever thought of doing a tier list of the most annoying plants slash zombies? Yes, I think that. that see, he plays. The, did he get that from? He got that from the thing, though, right? That's crazy, man. Yeah, I've thought of it. I can't tell if we're ahead or behind here. I think we're doing. We're still okay. That's just so annoying that if he got that from Quasar, I didn't see. Play. It's that tempo play. Do you celebrate Purim? I don't know. Not really. Probably not gonna be able to play this next turn. On the other hand, bouncing either of these cards is not not a good thing. I am liking Cool Bean though. Hell yeah. Blow also synergizes with this one. <laughs> Get frozen, bitch. Got him. <laughs> Got him. You want to see freeze? I'll show you freeze. Are you gonna do it? And if you do, that will be very scrumptious. It, it just takes a lot of effort for me. I'd have to go and tell, go through every card with someone and tell them which cards would be in the in the tier list. So that's the reason why that would just be very difficult. Now this is a good point. Because it does, either way, it gets us up to six. So <laughs> I'll take that, boy. I'll take that. I think at this point, trading these two is probably a... Well, he's probably playing, well... Protecting our face. Uh, well... Well... That's tough. How hard do we need to protect our face here? It's only one extra damage. Alright, let's go. The, the rooster will kind of die for free to the star for next turn. Surprised he didn't go Tankalosaurus and, um... That's cool. Finaling this one? Or face! Whew. I almost hope he goes for this one. I think that's less scary. So we bounced a Cryo Yeti, right? Means he can't really play this. Rock the block. Survey says. Not a terrible card at all. Oh yeah. I let's see people in chat. Spam pussy if you would like to see an annoying plants slash zombies tier list boys. Again, the, the, the lack of doing that is not my will. The lack of it is I'm, I'm doing a lot of other projects right now. And uh, it's just, to, I don't know, I, I would need someone to make the tier list for me. I would also need to find a day where I have energy to do a whole thing like that. So, yeah. So, this is nice options here. I'm guessing it's just... I'm guessing it's just another cryo. 
This has team up actually, which is cool. So it's gonna be like this. Is there something to say about about clogging lanes here? I don't think so. It's just a surprise guard. Just playing around Pogo and Yeti every single turn. He actually gave me this back, even though he has all these Yetis. Does he? Are we one off lethal and he wins with strength? Unbelievable. Good job, man. Whoa. There wasn't another play there that would have gotten that done, right? Teaming up here against this card. I'm playing around Pogo's strength. Anyway, I'll take the L for that. Good job. Can make the tier list? I would say Pickle Plays is probably very qualified to make a tier list on annoying, annoying cards. How about Pickle, you make the tier list and I'll look it over and just tell you if anything's missing, okay? I, I can't promise if and when I'll do it, but I'll, I'll, I'll try because I think people would like that. So try to pick the cards in the game that are just a real pain in the ass to go against. That looks like a pretty fine hand. So we'll see if we can set up this, uh, dude. Now what goes first, the lily or the black hole? I think if it's in the black hole, then the black hole will go first, but if it's to the left, then the lily will go first. I'm not a million percent sure. so annoying. Uh, I guess we just Lily here. Nice this is on heights because we can just deal with it a little better. <laughs> I don't think this grows. I guess we'll try it. There's no point in really blowing here, right? There's no way the lily activates before the environment here. I think if the lily was here, it would work. It just gives us another buff next turn anyway. I guess so. Could be worse. Definitely playing from behind here. Good news is he's getting pretty low in cards. Uh, this is good because it makes us able to play more guys on heights now. Jeez. Oh, whoops. Maybe that wasn't good. We're taking so much heat here, though. I guess I should have blocked one of these. Uh, that was a mistake. Because it didn't matter. Not very smart, fry him up. I definitely should have played this here. Terrible. Now I guess we'll block with these. Two. Just lightning bolts are our life, our entire life. That's really weird. 
But he didn't get it. So it's either strength, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, or rock wall. Rock wall he used. It had to have been strength. Kind of the worst superpower for him, luckily for us. We can only make one play here. I mean, we can go for a 7 damage strike there. 7, 8, 9. I, I guess if he has no minions, then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, now we still lose. Uh, I guess we have to rely on blocking now. This is team up. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Now we 100% lose. Uh, the play was onion rings. Six and two, just like that. We went six and zero, oh, and then six and someone said this is gonna be a seven and two screen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, our curve was just too high. Getting laser beam was like the worst thing we could have got there. I definitely misplayed that cosmic beam. Though. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're getting bailed out against Prairie Brainstorm by getting this stuff. One, two, three, I'll take it, boys. Hello. Definitely not playing these on Heights now. What you got? Just see Rico, please. We win this trade. We're in such good shape. We lose the trade. Black hole, such a good card in there. Really strong tempo. The cool thing is he has to remove this and it already got value. Turn three Lily is, is, is the truth, guys. What am I talking about? My play this dry. I guess if he plays a big minion, I'll go for it. Seems pretty good. This should just add some bullseye damage. Uh, no freeze. Checking don't do a damn thing here. That's the rocket. That okay though. Putting bigger minions on the field is better? I don't know, man. Maybe. Uh, I think we'll do this. It's easier to chump block the damage this way, but at the end of the day, it's harder to just clear our field with like a chicken. End of the day, chump blocking is not gonna help. There's a fruit cake. More options now. That's pretty cool. No block meter charge. That's what I wanted. I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want. He's had no answer to this admiral, and he's just passing every damn turn. What's going on? With this guy? Just sets up the star for next turn. 
So I did some fat chunky research and it says you have to have a Twitter account to make a tier list, and there is no way in the blue Australian outback that I'm joining Twitter, so I'm gamer but I can't make a tier list cause I can't make- Oh well, I guess that's that then. This curve sucks! Let me tell you something about this curve. This curve is the suckest curve. The freeze for the save. It means we need a bean to win. This Admiral Navy bean just had no answer. What is this garbage? We got this guy. Super and big and win. Of course we don't block. Imagine blocking this game. I'm trying to see some BM. <laughs> I don't know, man. What if he wins, though? He passed hurt with eight. He's gonna like teleport Mechasaur. I'm not. I'm not doing this, there, guys. I'm not, if he would have committed a little harder there, I totally would have gone for it. I'm taking the W. All right, guys. Little did I know, we'd be in a. I, I didn't know we'd be here. Never expected we could possibly, under any circumstances, be in the 7 and 2 scenario, guys. I just spoiled the game in the chat. Let's go. I know, sorry for the spoilers. We're on a 30 second delay to try to play around snipers. I know it doesn't work. But, uh,. It just means if I type 7 and 2 into the chat, <laughs> they haven't even seen the game, man. The spoils. Here's an Immortitia to end things off. Oh, love to see it. I'm just looking for another Black Eyed Peas, so I'm looking for. We could probably play tempo against this bitch. I think he, she should be the one hearing boss music. Look at this hand. Is that a... Is that a... a is that a... Su, supra? Is that a Supra? Okay. The best answer... I thought it was teleportation, but the best answer to a turn two gravestone? I mean, come on. Lily, the punished Lily. The punishest Lily ever. So against pass, I'm going to go more this way. If not, I'm gonna be doing it like that. Hello. Look at the punish though. Even against electrician, this is fine. It is. I'll probably go after the lily. If he if he goes after this one, why would you do that? Now I just get another lily shot. <laughs> why would you not kill the lily? He's not- it's a one drop. I can easily get that again next turn, bro. Come on, man. Not a good play. Now go for tricks. Yes, okay, so now he goes for tricks. <laughs> now he goes for tricks. It's about time, bro. <laughs> get right! Get right! He's gonna remove something on heights, too, and set up the star fruit. He's just ignoring lily. This is... okay, fine. That is... actually, no, that's still... I mean, it removes this two-cost card, great, but we... <laughs> we're just gaining the one gaining from that. Lily is brilliant, guys. As a setup card on two or a combo play on three or four. 
That's fine. He's just losing value. Uh, probably stick the Admiral like behind that. If he wanted the Admiral though, then why didn't you summoning there? Very confused. Hell yeah, Breda. Hell yeah, Breda. <laughs> I'll take the trade. I get eight damage. Eight plus eight. Get wrecked. Guaranteed lethal. <laughs> Starfruit. <laughs> that was harsh. God damn. A little highlight intro. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't disrespect Lily of the Valley, guys. Eight and two is what I'm talking about. Heck yes. The answer. The answer is yes, of course. I'm surprised we lost the two games. We got Pogo Yeti really hard, and we weren't able to set up the, the onion rings. So usually that's so good against. Usually onion rings against Pogo and Yeti is really good. The answer is yes, boys. Uh, that was amazing. So that was really. I mean, we stuck Lily into our pretty typical onion ring starfruit beans deck. But it did really, really well. I feel like the jelly beans shined very well too, so definitely gotta keep that in this list. The Lily's so good, man. Lily, best card in the game. She's back. She back, boys. <laughs> Just gotta play it safe. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was uh, absolutely incredible. Deck and stream. Peace. This is Fry.